We don't believe in ourselves. We don't have a lot of self-confidence. We somehow don't think that we're up to what God is asking us to do. As though God would ask us to do things that he wouldn't give us the grace to follow through with. And so we need to hear those words of Jesus tonight. Don't be afraid. You're worth more than a flock of sparrows. Sometimes we're afraid because we don't trust God. We say we do, but we don't really. Like, God is ready to bless everybody else except me. That God would ask me to do something that he wouldn't fit me out to do. That God is just waiting for me to slip so he can punish me. Sometimes we don't trust God. One of the big causes of anxiety in people's lives is guilt. Now, I'm not going to stand here and tell you you should never feel guilty because sometimes we ought to feel guilty. But the guilt is to lead us to repentance, not to just wallowing, but to lead us to God. If there is something you feel guilty about, go to confession. Celebrate the sacrament of penance. Give it back to God and his mercy. And I guarantee you, you will find relief. Allow him to love you who watches over you and who watches over me. We're worth more than a flock of sparrows. So don't be afraid. There was a couple in Elmira, New York in 1905. Mr. and Mrs. Martin. Her name was Sevilla. It's a great first name. Sevilla Martin. And Sevilla and her husband went to visit Mr. and Mrs. Doolittle. They had become friends. Mrs. Doolittle had been bedridden for about 20 years. Mr. Doolittle was in a wheelchair. They were joyful Christian people. And so Sevilla's husband asked the Doolittles, how do you stay so positive about everything? And Mrs. Doolittle's reply was, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Sevilla was a poet. She loved Mrs. Doolittle's response. She committed it to memory. And she went home and crafted a whole poem around that line. His eye is on the sparrow. I know he watches me. She sent it to a friend of hers, Charles Gabriel, who sent, set that poem to music. A vocalist, an actress by the name of Ethel Waters made that song famous. In fact, she entitled her autobiography after that song. The song that our gifted musician, Lori Coughlin, is going to sing for us today during the preparation of the gifts, during the offertory. But I wanted to put the text before you right now so that you hear it and take it to heart because it's inspired by the gospel we just heard. And this is the text. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Let not your heart be troubled. His tender word I hear, and resting on his goodness, I lose my doubts and fears. Though by the path he leadeth, but one step I may see. 
His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Fear not. Don't be afraid. Believe in yourself. You are a child of God. And believe in God. Believe in God. For his eye is on the sparrow, and he watches over me.